abuse, from my perspective, is when a guy thinks that he can do whatever he wants to his girlfriend, but in reality, he doesn't have the control to do that. The word I, that comes to me is damage. Whenever someone is abused, they're just... Parts of them are chipped away slowly, slowly, and they're just in pain constantly. To anyone doing something, pur doing something purposely to harm anyone else in any way. You're hurting someone with words. Uh, you can see it on their face usually, and sometimes it might be masks, so they might be hurting on the inside, not so much on the outside, which is which can be much worse than physical abuse, actually. A guy tells a girl that she isn't worth it, or isn't worth their time, but really all girls are worth a guy's time. Abuse can be seen in various forms, but sometimes it's not seen at all, which is the scary part. Abuse can be in influenced from multiple ways. It can be from the friends you grew up with and you had a violent childhood, so that could carry over. Most women are affected by abuse, they automatically think that they're the victim in whatever relationship that they're in. And because they think that, they feel the need to stay in that relationship. And the moment of when they don't, they feel like they're going to get affected even more. And words hurt a lot more than, you know, a punch would. If you're having a hard day at school or work or anything, it's not okay to take it out on a woman. Especially because they're there for you. Even though they're there for you at all times, you can't just keep yelling at them or stressing them out. You can't just start hurting them from what you feel like. It doesn't matter if you're pissed off, depressed, or sad. It's not right to abuse anyone on your moods or to abuse a, a woman of a, on how you're feeling or let alone only. People within animals and stuff, violence is always there. And so if you consider that human beings are like animals, then we should say that human beings are violent. The thing is we have created society and that is a limiter on the animalistic things in us. We need to progress beyond certain things, such as violence. And the fact that you're being violent in someone is a, is a reflection of you being an animal, you being inhuman. Uh, the advice I would give to someone for overcoming abuse, I would say the best thing you can do is talk to someone, put yourself out there. As, as scary as the person who abusing you may be, the best thing you can do is seek help right away, protection from who they are, and from there on, your recovery, your road to recovery will start. The worst thing you can honestly do is just bottle it in, bottle it inside you, and hope that it'll pass, because it never will. If you want to be a better person, if you're going to be better, then you shouldn't resort to things, you should listen to society, you should be part of society and part of the good things in the world, instead of resorting to things such as violence and anger and hatred. My name is Sologen. My name is Nirjan. My name is Simon Sayed. And no, no, I'm against. And I'm against. And I'm against. Definitely against. Abuse towards women. It's abuse towards women. Abuse towards women. Towards women.